A June Lake man was arrested on drug charges on Tuesday. Now, according to a press release from the Mono County Sheriff's Office, the Mono County Narcotics Enforcement Team, MONET, along with the assistance of the Mono County Sheriff's Office and the California Highway Patrol, concluded a narcotics warrant investigation in June Lake. That press release states that on Tuesday at approximately 8 a.m., MONET agents, the Mono County Sheriff's Office, and CHP conducted two simultaneous search warrants at two residents in the June Lake area. Between the search warrants and several alerts by narcotics detection canine Terra, it was concluded that one of the residences is being used as a local distribution center to maintain and sell methamphetamine. Now, Monet agents seized a vehicle that was used in the transportation and sales of narcotics and over a thousand dollars in narcotics proceeds, according to that press release. Jesus Vargas Gonzalez, age 43, of June Lake, was placed under arrest and transported and booked into the Mono County Jail in Bridgeport without incident. According to the press release, Gonzalez was arrested for the transportation and sales of a controlled substance and maintaining a residence with the intent to house and sell narcotics. Gonzalez is currently in custody with all charges pending with the Mono County District Attorney's Office. Well, Bennett Kessler filed this story. Well, the recent storms did give the eastern Sierra snowpack a bump, but it just was a bump. The Los Angeles Department of Water and Power website, the current precipitation charts show Mammoth Pass water content barely above the driest year on record, which is the snowpack of 1976-77. Now, this year's snowpack looms way below last year and below the long-term average snowpack. DWP's so-called snow pillow recorders show Mammoth Pass 37% of normal to date, Rock Creek at 33%, South Lake at 38% of normal to date, Big Pine Creek at just 18%, and Cottonwood Lakes at 36% of normal to date. Now, the State Department of Water Resources verifies the grim picture in the mountains. DWR completed the second statewide snow survey at the end of January. Now, some more snow has fallen since then, but the state surveyor said the winter still remains dry, and they urged water conservation. DWR surveyed the snow prior to the most recent storms and found the statewide water content at only 12% of average for this time of year. Now back on DWP's website, precipitation figures show Long Valley at 8% of normal to date, Bishop 13%, Big Pine 24%, Independence 37%, South Hayway 12%, uh, and Los Angeles precipitation at 9% of normal to date. Well, when the Inyo supervisors met last week, they passed their somewhat revised drought proclamation. Administrator Kevin Caruncio said officials would revisit the proclamation every two weeks. He said the county would begin to mobilize its drought operation plan for response. Now, Supervisor Chairman Rick Pucci said everyone has been getting a lot of phone calls about the drought. There are still grave concerns in West Bishop over wells drying up there. Pucci said the county would tell the public if federal funds become available to help. And we're going to spotlight a couple of Eastern Sierra businesses right now, starting with the Mammoth Tavern. The Mammoth Tavern is the Eastern Sierra's new hotspot. Sierra Wave Media's Rob Gill talked to executive chef Carrie Meckler to see what the Mammoth Tavern is all about. Well, I've been cooking my whole life. I went to the Culinary Institute of America in High Park, New York. I have my own restaurant in San Francisco. Um, now I've been in Mammoth about 12 years. Uh, I've opened four restaurants in town and now I finally opened my own. We're a gastro pub, so really kind of upscale bar food, very approachable for people. Uh, fun food, uh, food, food we love to cook and food we love to eat. We have a nice uh, beef tartare. Uh, we have a great bone marrow dish. Uh, we got fresh pastas. We have a great tavern burger. Um, turkey pastrami made in-house. Um, we got great fondues, 
happy hour here at the tavern is uh, 3.30 every day to 5.30. Uh, we feature a few things uh, on the food side, uh, behind the bar, um, you know, wines by the glass, some great specialty cocktails. Uh, there's different specials every day. Depends on the bartender's mood and the ingredients that we have to work with. February promotions, we're doing a week wallet Wednesday. You can come in and get an entree and a glass of beer or a glass of wine for 10 bucks. Uh, we're also doing uh, beer can chicken on Sundays for kind of family style. You can eat it here, take it home. Everybody here in Mammoth would love to see you come in and check out the new Mammoth Tavern and definitely come see us on uh, March 4th for our big Mardi Gras party. A big party in the restaurant. We'll feature some great Cajun food, jambalaya, uh, Cajun shrimp and grits. Um, yeah, great stuff on Mardi Gras. Ah, it looks tasty and already a very popular spot, the Mammoth Tavern. And in Bishop, Victor Covarrubias has worked in the car business for some 30 years. And as many know, he and his son Victor bought Eastern Sierra Motors and have made it Bishop Ford. Now, they have improvement plans in mind for their new dealership. Bennett Kessler filed this story. Victor Sr. told Sierra Wave Media that he has done it all in the car business and owned and operated dealerships in Murrieta and Las Vegas. He said he started at the bottom and worked his way up. Along the way, he got an education and served in the U.S. Air Force in Vietnam. Covarrubias said that he saw the Bishop dealership as a good opportunity to get involved with Ford. Plus, they like Bishop, the mountains, and the snow. Now, to start with, the new owners refurbished the inside of the dealership with new paint, flooring, and furniture. And our crews are outside washing cars to keep their products shiny and new. Covarubia said they plan to double their inventory in the coming weeks. Their timing is good in regard to car sales, which show an upward trend, although in many areas, harsh winter weather put a damper on sales. Now for Ford, the F-150 pickup remains the best-selling vehicle over all others, and the two victors have got to like that part of their new dealership. Always great to have new businesses in the Eastern Sierra Mammoth Tavern and Bishop Ford. We'll be back with a weather report.